Hey guys, Charlie Molina here. Today I do want to talk about a new product and this is supposed to be able to scan check engine lights and other vehicle codes by just plugging this into your car and connecting it to your cell phone. I'm going to walk through the setup process and I'll download the app and plug it in for the first time. And let's see how it works. Let's see if it actually stands up to what they say they can do. Well, uh, this vehicle, believe it or not, has a check engine light on. So let's scan it to find out what it is. Well, there's an installation guide in the uh, package and it comes with some instructions and step one is to download the fixed app on your smartphone and then suggest to do not open the app until step four. And now it's downloading. Step two is just to make sure that your phone's Bluetooth is turned on. I open the garage door because step three is to turn the vehicle on and leave the engine running for at least five seconds before opening the fixed app. Step 4. Open the app and register for a new account. Step 5. Input the code on the back of the sensor into the app. Now we're ready to plug the sensor into the OBD2 port, commonly located beneath the dash. Then just add and register the sensor inside the app and you're ready to start scanning your first vehicle. There is a note here that says that this device requires a data connection and at least three bars of cellular coverage to function properly. So I did skip over the actual signing in of my personal account, but uh, I assure you it was pretty easy to sign up for an account. I used Facebook to just sign in with Facebook and create an account. And even though it is easier to use Facebook, it's not mandatory. You can just register for a new account manually. And this was the first time that I ever used this product, so I was kind of rushing it. The first time I pushed a scan button, it didn't come up with anything and I knew the check engine light was on this so I kind of got distracted and was just checking out all the other features and all the other things that you can check out on this vehicle and uh, it tells you about all the systems which is which is pretty cool but uh, after it sat for a few seconds I scanned again and you can see here it says that it found two problems on this on this uh, vehicle so and here they are it's the um, O2 sensor and and then you have the ability to clear the code here. You can clear the code and if you don't fix the problem, the code will just come back. This is a part where it's actually telling you what the sensor is and, and what it does. So uh, here's a, a description of the heated oxygen sensor with thumbs down or thumbs up feedback buttons to let them know if the description helped. Well, you don't have to be too tech savvy to use this product and it seems like uh, it could give you a really good peace of mind to be able to at least diagnose on your own and find out why these check engine lights are on on your vehicle. So as you uh, attempt to clear the code, here's the area where it gives you the warnings about um, just clearing the code doesn't fix any problems. If you don't fix the problem, the the code will just come back and this shouldn't be done to to help pass inspection so I, I wanted to try it to see how it worked and you can see in the background this light just disappearing okay so that that seemed um, easier than I expected and then and scanning the code and clearing it was was fairly simple uh, if you think it worked pretty good, let me know in the comments. If you thought this video was helpful, just give me a thumbs up and, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot, guys.